What up guys? I'm back and you're lining with the white Trini. No longer shy girl. All right, so the hijacking is done. Today, matter of fact, you know what? The hijacking is done. What did you guys miss most? I know what you missed, you missed this, right? So we are going to make today a nice macaroni pie. We are going to do rice with some stew red beans, uh, curry hard fowl that shy girl brought back from Trinidad and we're gonna do kalaloo with some crab. So let's get started, all right? In this pot, we have some macaroni, um, Trinidad macaroni, by the way, guys, not um, the local store brought uh, stuff here. And uh, we're having that boil up. We also, out that pot's hot. Didn't realize that pot was on. <laughs> <laughs> we have this pot here to get our kalaloo started. I'm gonna show you some of our ingredients. We got some, uh, some fresh spinach here. We have some kalaloo from Trinidad we're gonna add in. Some other ingredients here are some uh, carrots, onions, okra, pimentos, and some hot pepper. We're gonna use a little chicken broth, guys, um, for you know our uh, base there. But water is fine. This is our version, how we're making it, guys. So I don't wanna deter you guys to think that you have to do this. We just like putting in some chicken broth for added flavor. So here's, usually this is our staple crab, guys, uh, snow crab. This is what we like, and I like the way you know, whether it's curry or kalu, how it like, you know, infuses inside the shells there and soaks in. It's really nice just to sit there and get all the sauces and stuff like that. Some other ingredients, we're gonna add some coconut milk, some powder, some flavor to pot crab. We have our seasoning here, some green seasoning, and this is our curry hard fowl, all right? So let's get started here with our kalu. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in our broth here. Get this started. And it don't have to be chicken broth, guys. It could be veg, maybe fish or something like that, especially since you're, you know, we're dealing with the uh, crab. Maybe you want to do like fish. Hey, a chunk, hear that broth, boy? Yeah. Hear that chunk, yeah. I didn't even realize the pot was on, guys. I went to grab it and I was like, yikes. So guys, it's it's been a while. It's really been a while. As you can see, I'm uh, all grizzlyed out, no clean look or nothing. Shy Girl wasn't here, so see, it shows how sad I was, guys. I was just like a hermit. I was working and I was just home alone and sad. So she's back now, so you see the, the smiles on the face, right? So I'm glad she's back. I'm glad, I'm glad my son's back too. Don't think I didn't miss him too, so glad he's back. So miss them a lot. It's kind of hard. Usually I can't sleep when Shy Girl's not here, but I only slept because I was working so much. But usually I go to bed like one, two in the morning and I get up a couple hours later and go to work. But uh, I was so exhausted from working. So I can't wait to cook this up. Uh, Shy Girl looked like she had a blast. I missed out on a lot of things, guys. A lot of things. Uh, that shark and bait. I'm gonna set this over here, guys. Um, you course doubles, missed out on them doubles. So uh, just lots of good food. When you go back Trinidad and stuff, food is the best. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in these ingredients. So I'm gonna let that just drop in, right? I'm gonna let all that cook up there, boil up. I'm gonna add in the fresh spinach. Let me just drop that in. I don't wanna splatter all over the place here. So. Keep that low. We're gonna add in this baji here, right? Sorry guys, I'm kind of blocking your view there. All right? This is just gonna increase the flavor, guys. Hmm. I know Shy Girl hates when you hear the bowl scraping and stuff like that. All right. We're gonna add in a little flavor to pots. Let me get a little, uh, I don't have sharp teeth, guys, but plus the scissors. All right, I'll add one in too when we're uh, seasoning up the crab. All right, again, that's the flavor to pot crab. This is the one we were looking for the pigtail version in this, and we can't find it nowhere. Shy Girl couldn't find it in Trinidad, and she could not find it, well, obviously we can't find it here in the States. 
So, um, all right, I'm gonna get a spoon, give that a little stir. All right. I'm gonna let this boil up here real good. And so those flavors can infuse and we'll get back to you guys in a minute. All right. Okay, we are gonna get the pie going now, guys. So check it out. So I'm gonna create a roux for like the cheese sauce. Let me show you. We're gonna use some Irish butter. You can use any kind of butter, guys, by the way. So we use like this block of Irish butter, which is about eight ounces. All right, so I'm gonna drop that whole block into there. All right? I'm gonna let that boil down here. All right, spin it around. I got dancing pots. All right, and then we're gonna add in some more uh, ingredients. The next thing we'll add is some flour, but I want this to melt up. Yeah, melt up real quick. So the idea of creating uh, this roux slash, I'll just say like for for a cheese sauce is so that when we make the pie, you just sit there and put the, the cheese sauce in there so you get all that flavor within the inside of the whole pie. Not just like cheese on top or like, like a topping. This is gonna ooze its way all into the, the noodles and stuff. So it's gonna be lashing. So we'll see. And we do that way with a little, you know, trainy twist. All right, guys, we're gonna let this boil up and we'll get back to you in a minute. All right, so our butter melted down. So now I'm gonna add in a little flour, as you can see. So let me add, what is this, like a, it's not a cup, obviously. Quarter cup. Quarter, so flour in there, all right. I'm gonna give this a little stir. All right. You can see it's kinda frothing up a little bit there. All right, now I'm gonna add in our little, I'm gonna just boil up a little bit here. Hmm, I can't tell with the uh, wooden spoon here if it's, uh... We're looking pretty. Oh, I'm still gonna let it boil up just a little bit more. So, so guys, you know, uh, I really miss doing this. It's been a while, so I am gonna make some more content. I gotta catch up the shy girls content here because clearly there has been nothing new with me and. Uh, you know, with the videos and stuff like that. Only my name mentioned. You see how much she missed, missed me every time there was a pot? White Trini, this is for White Trini. So, uh, I miss her just as much, guys. So, uh, we're gonna do some more cooks here for you. Hopefully, some new and different things. Uh, you know, uh, different limes, different places. We're gonna, you know, go, this and that. So, I uh, look forward to bringing you guys along with us, so. All right, we're gonna add in carnation milk now, guys. All right. And what is this you're making, a roux, right? Yes, this is the roux for our macaroni pie. And then, okay. Sorry guys, a little difficult when there's a lot of stuff going on here, so we're having to maneuver the camera around. Oh, you don't have the regular nutmeg. We don't have any whole nutmeg. Guys, You're giving away a secret there. So I'm gonna have to uh, put a couple dashes of the Chief's Essence Nutmeg. All That's right. That's your secret. One, two, three. All right. Little secret ingredient there. All right. Give this a stir. And now I'm gonna, for our little TNT Trini twist, all right, we're gonna add in some uh, garlic, some pimento, and hot pepper. So this will give it the little kick. All right. So we're just gonna drop all that into there. All right, that goodness. Right, keep stirring this up. All right, so as you can see now, look, the roux's got all of that color. 
right? The reds, the greens, the yellows, the oranges, and the peppers, all right? So now, I'm gonna add a little black pepper. This will also give it a little flavor and kick. So give that a stir. And we're gonna add in some cheese now, shredded uh, cheese. Any kind of shredded cheese, guys. The one we have is actually a Mexican four cheese. Whatever you have available, that's what we had. I mean, a lot of times that's what we use, so. All right, so I'm just gonna drop, drop in about half this bowl. Because the other half will be used for the topping of the pie. All right, that's good there. Right, we'll save the rest for later. I'm just gonna give us a good stir. All right. And you want this to melt down and create that nice cheese, cheese sauce. Nice, it looks really good, honey. So. And then what nice. do you do next? You're putting macaroni in there and mix it up? Yeah, we gotta let this, uh, Melt up good. Melt up really good. And I'll clean up. You're on dishes? I guess so. You don't have to be on dishes. Come stir this. I'll do dishes now. No, no. Come now. I haven't done dishes in so long. <laughs> you haven't been here. I was working so much. All right. It's getting nice and thick here. I think we're going to have to go ahead and add in our macaroni now. I feel like I need a little more milk in it, huh? Well, maybe, because look, yeah. it's getting pretty, see. pretty thick. You want it to be able to run through the macaroni. So it's definitely, see guys? Uh, it might be good, but maybe a little bit more. Because it is a little on the, the thick side. Like you haven't been grocery shopping? No, I've been nothing but working. I haven't barely been eating. I think the most food I ate was by Didi's house. Yeah. yeah. Go for it, guys. He's starved. He's starved. I did starve. All right. So this is good? more of a, uh, like about maybe another quarter <laughs> or half uh, can of carnation milk there. So clearly it's definitely a lot more liquidy now because it's stirring a lot more easily. Yeah. Still got the thickness, but we're gonna go ahead and add in our macaroni. And the macaroni is the Swiss brand macaroni, Trinidad macaroni, all right? So we're gonna add that in. We'll get back to you guys in a minute. All right, we have our cheese sauce here, right? I'm gonna add in our macaroni. All right. Plop, all right. Oh few pieces left behind. I'm gonna give us a good stir now. Right. So essentially, it's kind of like macaroni and cheese in a way, but you're gonna take it now and you're gonna bake it. Put it in a pan and bake it. You can top it off with some cheese, some breadcrumbs, all kind of thing. Like one time we actually did it with the hot sauce uh, goldfish, which you still could do. You know, there's all kinds of creative things you guys could do when you're making pie. That's for sure. We like to do the nice roux though, because you can see how cheesy this is gonna be. And it makes for a nice uh, thick pie too. So really just one good piece and you're good. You don't have to go back for, se well, I go back for seconds and thirds just because it's so good. Because you're greedy. Yeah, I, I'm real greedy. That's how much I love food, I'm real greedy. All right. All right. It's looking pretty good here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drop it in the pan. Now our pan, we already sprayed some Pam in here. 
nonstick, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this in, guys. I'm fogging up here some. I could hold a pot and you could scrape it down here. Hold on. Yeah, there's not too well, there's a lot of cheese in there to scrape mm -hmm. down. Sorry, you guys, but we're not trying to let any of this go to waste. All this cheese. Actually, nowadays things are expensive, so stuff like cheese and stuff ain't cheap. So you definitely don't want it to waste. All right, and we gotta spread that out real good. Wow, I love all the colors and stuff from the uh, peppers, the pimento, and the hot pepper. Take a taste. Gives it a nice, nice color. Mm hmm. Wow. Nice kick. So I'm just gonna wash my hands real quick, guys. We're gonna spread that out, and then we're gonna uh, put a little breadcrumbs on there and toss it in the oven. So we'll have that going, and then we can uh, season up our crab here. All right, so we'll get back to you guys in a few. Okay, guys, so we're using some panko seasoned breadcrumbs. It don't have to be this brand, it don't have to be panko, uh, but we're using some panko seasoned breadcrumbs. I added some into the cheese here, and we're just mixing it up, right? And then we're gonna put this on the topping of our pie. So cheese on cheese, guys, more cheese, all right? This is, you should call this a cheesy macaroni pie because there's so much cheese. All right, we're mixed up here. I'm gonna go ahead and just try to, you know, coat this really well. Not to be too much, guys, because there's a lot here already, cheese wise. I'm trying to evenly spread it out here, right? Everyone could do it, you know, however way you wanna do it, you know? Again, this is just the way we're doing it, our little version. And sometimes our version changes all the time, you know? When you're cooking, that's the thing, you could be creative and add things anytime. So there's no sometimes even like recipe recipe when it comes to cooking, you know? We kinda, what is it? Like sometimes when you're doing things, you're eyeballing things and stuff like that. Yeah, eyeball. Yeah, so you, you know, you just wing it. You just add stuff, you know? So you're being creative, experimenting, you know? So, I mean, sometimes experiments don't always work out, but majority of the time they do. Cause you're just adding something in for like a little kick more, you know, whether it's like, you know, pepper or something like that. In this case, I mean. So what is your secret ingredient to make a macaroni pie? You put a few dashes, I saw. Uh, the nutmeg. So that's what, uh, essence, nutmeg essence. Or the real thing too, you grew. We don't have any, we ran out. Yeah, probably from when we were last time baking or something, uh, we run out of the, uh, excuse me, the nutmeg. Unfortunately, I'm about to clean up a little bit of a mess I'm making here, guys, because the cheese is rolling off the sides. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna take the rest and I'm gonna create more of a mess to clean up. All right, we're gonna get this ready to put in the oven and we'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, so now here's our pie. We're gonna add this into our oven now. All right, check it out. All right, really beautiful. And I have a an old pan down here in case it spills over. So this way, you know, we don't create more mess to clean up. So we like to keep things nice, clean, and tidy. So now we're gonna go ahead and check on our callaloo, right? We need to get this crab seasoned up, guys. Well, yeah, um, swizzle stick. My dad, Blutney. Oh, 
thought we had a, a bigger one. But I guess I can use the small one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. It is a dog with me. Yeah. It's finished melted. Nice. So got some yeah, really nice aroma here, guys. So all those flavors and stuff just combined there. Really, really nice. Mm. I could drink this like a soup. Yeah. All right. We'll get back to you guys when we're seasoning the crab. Okay, guys. We're going to add in our package of coconut milk. Put a little water in there. And we stirred it up. So now we're going to put it in our... Packaging is thick, so I thought there was more uh, stuff in there. All right, and give this a little stir. My spoon go. Oh, we're gonna use our blender here, guys. All right, so we can blend this up real good. I like it nice and um, liquidy. So this way, all the flavors that oozed in there together, and then when we drop in the crab and stuff, it just oozes all into the shell. So we're all set there, guys. So now we're going to season up our crab. So I'm going to add in a little uh, black pepper. All right. So I'll just sprinkle a little bit of that in there. Okay, Shy Girl went ahead and cleaned them up a little bit here. So we had that prepped. We're going to add in some more flavor to plot. Yeah, flavor to plot. Flavor to pot crab, guys. So we're going to add in some of that. We're going to add in some soy sauce here now when you add a little soy sauce guys a little tip this helps make you know your seafood or your crab or whatever uh like more sweeter it adds like a nice sweet flavor so we're gonna add in our soy sauce there right and then we're gonna go ahead and put some green seasoning about three scoops of green seasoning and then i'm gonna stir this up here all right so we have that and a dash of salt. All right. Let me just get a spoon here, stir it up. All right. Got a spoon here, I'm just gonna stir it up here some. Right. I think one day, guys, we gotta take you, we were talking about it the other night when we did the fishing line. Uh, crabbing. We gotta take you guys crabbing one day. How we catch the uh, mangrove crab. Well, s yeah, but there's mangroves there too, so I, I guess you could call it both, right? All right, blue crab. So I'll show you guys how we catch the uh, the blue crab, and then maybe we could do a nice little cook with that, some nice crab and dumplings or something, right? I know sometimes, you know, people don't have access to it or only in the supermarket, but we we have our little spot where we go and catch, uh, I'll say it's a secret spot, but it's our little spot where we catch the, uh, the blue crab. <clears throat> so that'll be a nice little line. Just the only thing we have to be careful of is sometimes there's alligators there, so you can't see them in the water. All right, that looks good, guys. All right, we're going to add this in. All right, so I'm gonna dump this in, guys. Not a lot. 
Don't forget to scrape your bowl, all that seasoning. Okay. I know I'm beating, beating the pan here like a drum. this up guys and let this simmer away all right all that flavor just gonna ooze into those shells and the cartilage all right all right guys we'll get back to you in a few all right guys while we finish letting the food cook up I want to give some shout outs to a few of you uh, no particular order these are people that have uh, made comments on previous videos here so first I wanna start off by saying happy birthday to Uncle Tolly. I wish you many, many, many more and big up to you. I also wanna say big up your whole self Brits, all right? Big up yourself, hopefully you can come hang out with the White Trini in America here soon, all right? So here we go, guys. I wanna say big up to Debbie, to Danroyd, Sandy's Cup of Tea, Parba Tea. <coughs> I also wanna say big up to Betty, Judy, Judy T, Allison Mohammed, Lena, Nigel from Orlando, big up to you, Tara, Margaret, I think I said Betty, Betty, Rebecca, also want to say big up to DS, Diamond Reyes, Shanta Serju, Ryan Sahai, Sybil, Shivani, Sarah Mohammed, also want to say Francis Ann, big up. Anthony Ramjawan. Uh, also want to say Don Kumacho, big up to you. Indra Bagan. Priscilla C. Prasad. I'm going to say this wrong, guys. Deo Saran. Babulal. Babulal, yeah. Nadia Mangal. Yipma. K.A. Hennefa. Also want to say big up Yolanda. Kamani, Karen Thomas, Deborah Suraj, Michelle Ramratan, Sherry, Sherry B, Anne Marie B, Chillin' with Jake, big up to you, brother, Ramesh Karanjit, Trini Style with Vids, Cheryl Ann, Trini Yorker, Trini How To, Trini Style with Dinesh, Sana Trini for Life, big up to all you guys, Trini Queen, Felicia Sammy, Life with Dave and Trish, We Are Trinis, Debs, Faz, Pinky, Ramsaran. Oh, something got pepper, boy. <clears throat> I also want to say big up to Gaitri, Duke, Dukwa. I could be pronouncing it wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, so big up to all you guys and big up to everyone that's been commenting. Uh, hope to see more comments from you guys. I really appreciate it. I missed you guys, all right? I know you guys missed me, all right? I hope. Uh, so <clears throat> big up to all you guys. Thanks for watching and the support. And look out for more videos soon, guys. So stay tuned. Before I check these pots, guys, I also want to say big up to Island Life with Sunil, Trini to the World Cody, and a special, special birthday to my boy Kevin. All right, Kevin, happy birthday. By the time you see this video, which should be Wednesday, it's your birthday, boy. So big up to you and many, many more. All right, happy birthday. Okay, guys, we're gonna check on our Kalaloo here with the crab, check it out. All right, this looks really good. I think all we gotta do is just add in a little golden ray, all right? So I just cut up a few slivers of golden ray. All right, just gonna drop those in, all right? Two points for the shy girl, she made it in the pot. And give this a stir. And the golden ray we add, because it just gives it uh, more flavor, guys. So I know, we already added so much flavor. How much more flavor can it have? Listen, there's never enough flavor, guys. You could always add more and more flavor. All right. All right, this looks good. So we'll show you guys the final results on this when we're ready. All right guys, it's bean time. So we have a little pot here getting hot. I'm gonna add in a little avocado oil. All right. Okay, 
let this get this oil heat up a little bit here. All right. I like to make sure the oil is all spread out in there. Turn the temp up, guys. Sorry, the temperature was actually kind of down there. Getting a little hot there. So what we're gonna start off with and chunk it apart, we're gonna do some green seasoning, right? Which is our bandana, our culantro garlic. We got some pimento peppers here, some hot uh, peppers, scotch bonnets. We have some green bell pepper and some red bell pepper as well. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and add in some sazon now. All right, one pack. Give that a little stir. Smell all these flavors here, guys. All this pepper, seasoning, it's really, really nice aroma, all right? All right, I'm gonna add in a little of the season up. Maggie chicken, right? And we'll add some ketchup. All right, Maggie, season up chicken. More flavor, guys. All right, we're always adding flavor. All right, I'm gonna add a little ketchup. Man, hmm. these beans are gonna last, boy. What? All right, add a little ketchup here. We're using Swiss brand, guys, but you can use any brand, but Swiss is the best. All right, Just add a little ketchup in there. All right. As you can see, we got a ton of color here and a little bit of golden ray. Okay, let that melt down up in there. All right. Wow, what all the color in that. I love it. Golden rays just gotta melt there. So we'll just stir this up a little more until that melts down. And then we can add in our, uh, our beans. Technically you could add in your beans now. You don't have to wait for the golden ray to melt completely down. So we have uh, some pink beans, guys. We had no red beans, but pink, red, no matter, same thing, right? I mean, everyone has preferences, but it's a bean, so. The red, the big red kidney beans, they probably, uh, you know, get a little bit more softer and they're bigger. But pink beans are just as good. Really nice. All right. So I'm gonna stir this up a little more and then we're just gonna add in some uh, vegetable stock, guys. Check it out, All right? And then we're just gonna let that uh, simmer down and cook. All right. Our uh, rice should be done here soon. We're almost done with this cook. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the chicken stock. Well, sorry, the vegetable stock. Right before I do that, I'm just gonna, again, add some more flavor here. We'll add some salt. All right. All right. We got another good stir. All right, that golden rays about melted now. All right, you need to get a nice, nice little uh, fry up there. All right, let's go ahead and add our stock. All right, one container. Now again, guys, I mean, you could add water uh, or a little bit of stock, however you guys want to do it. This is just our way of doing it. Okay, so I don't want you to feel that you have to do it this way. Uh, this is just to add more flavor. All right, we're gonna let that cook down. So, all right, so we're gonna cover that and we'll get back to you guys with the final results. Check it out, guys. 
Here's the macaroni pie. Now I know some of you guys might be like, that looking kind of too dark, like maybe it's, it's burnt, but I like it a little color to it like that. And it gives it a nice uh, crispy, you know, texture and stuff like that. Right, so you get that nice crust. But mind you, the rest of it is gonna be oozing, you know, really, really nice. So check back at the final results, guys. Look at that. All right, voila, 3D vision. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So now we're gonna do our curry hard file. Which is how we're doing. <laughs> Excuse me, reheating it. I'm gonna rest it here. I got this, I got this. All right. So this is how we're reheating this lovely hard fowl that Sidro made in Trinidad. Right? Check it out. Alright, so we're just gonna reheat that up real quick and we'll show you guys that final result on that one. Alright guys, let's check on these beans here. Alright. Give this a little stir. Nice. Man, look at the color. Ooh, beautiful. All right. Smelling really, really good. All right. White Trini approves. Thumbs up. Doing Shy Girls thing there. Thumbs up. This looks nice, guys. All right. So we're going to continue to heat up our curry hard fowl, and hopefully we'll be ready to show you guys the final results here in a few. So stay tuned. Check it out, guys. The final results. Wow, 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 that's all I can say. You got the nice uh, red beans we just made here, stew red beans uh, with a little kalu on top on a nice thing of rice. You have your macaroni pie here with the nice little golden crust there, beautiful. We also have the curry hard fowl that Shy Girl made in Trinidad. And we have the crab, or kalu should I say, with crab. All right, so we're gonna dig in here, guys, and we're gonna share with you the final results. All right, so usually I like to mix up my rice and stuff here with beans, All right? We got the nice kalaloo. All right, this is, gonna, this is gonna be wonderful, guys. This is definitely gonna lash. All right, here we go. Nice little kalaloo. I'm gonna take a huge bite. It's hot, guys, right off the press. As you can see, it's probably smoking in my face. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, <clears throat> the beans melt in your mouth and you get that nice buttery flavor kind of from the beans and all the different seasonings and stuff. Nice pepper. You got the kalaloo. Oh my gosh, guys. This is, this is heaven right here. It just melts in your mouth. Mm hmm Wow, there's no toughness at all to the beans. They literally just ooze and melt in your mouth. It's so much flavor, guys. That is lashing, hands down, wow. I'm gonna try a little of the curry hard fowl here. All right, check it out, check it out. Guys, this, I'm licking my fingers, guys. This is so good, guys. You know what time it is. It's time to whine. That's for you guys. I know you guys missed it, right? Nothing tastes better than, you know, homemade fresh food. When you, when you eat this curry um, hard fowl, should I say, right? You know it's fresh. You know it's not no store-bought chicken or nothing like that. This is fresh chicken here. Mm-hmm. Wow. Fall off the bone. Amazing, guys. Amazing. Hmm. I in heaven. This is lashing, guys. Wow. You know that is fresh chicken. I love it. Oh my gosh. Nothing beats that. We have <clears throat> our little macaroni pie here. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Pepper's getting me. All right. Now, I like, lately, I like to eat it without, like, ketchup or anything like that. Because I like, especially since we made the roux, guys, you get all that flavor and stuff that, you know, cooks and melts into the 
the, the macaronis that creates the pie. And there, all the flavors there, you really don't need the ketchup. But if you like a little ketchup, I suggest put a little bit. Don't drown it or anything like that. Mm. Wow. I'm about to get up and dance again for you guys, but I'll take it easy, guys. That pie is amazing, guys. All the flavors that oozed and melted and, and, and you know, combined in there, it was amazing, guys. And literally, let's try a piece here with a crust, right? A nice crust. I know a lot of you guys, when any kind of food, you guys like a nice crust, whether it's, you know, barbecue or this or that, right? Check it out. Mm -hmm. That is such a nice touch, guys. You don't get just that soft ooziness and a nice little crisp. That right there is what makes it right there, that nice crisp, guys. You would love it. Oh boy, here comes the big boy, the bad boy. Crab, the kalu and crab. So usually, right, the kalu, first of all, this doesn't just suck all this kalu off the shell and everything, because this is, you don't just know meat and toss this. You gotta make sure you clean the crab and everything because there's too much flavor and stuff there to waste. Right? Kind of like chicken bones, right? Or chicken wings. All the meat off the, the bones. Right, there's too much flavor there to let all that kalalu go. Right, just like this. Wow, oh my God, that is heaven. Wow. All right, I know they don't want to sit there and see me licking this whole damn thing up, so here we go. I'm gonna break it open, guys. I'm gonna test the meat inside. We gotta be careful, I don't have the strongest teeth. Let me put the shell there. Right? Now this piece is one of my favorite pieces, the claws, guys. Gundy. Yeah, the Gundy. Right? Because they have that nice big chunk of meat. So, I love big chunks of meat. Whether it's crab, whether it's any kind of uh, animal or you know, <laughs> animal? creature, I guess you could say. See, I'm not letting the cowl go to waste. Right? I gotta break that piece open. There's some meat in there, guys. Right? There's a big chunk I kind of broke up on me. Check it out. Right? I wanna show you guys. Look at all the seasoning. Oh, wait. I'm dropping it. I'm dropping it, guys. All right, now I got rice there, too. All the green seasoning and stuff there. So all that cooked and melted and oozed into the shell. Wow. This is so, so sweet, guys. Holy smokes. Right now, if I said, what is the winner out of all this food? The crab, guys. The, the kalu and crab. Amazing, guys. It, it just, all that flavor just oozes in the shell. It's like it helps protect the flavor that's inside. Guys, lashing. You know it is lashing. This is a wonderful first meal to welcome back the white tr trainee, a.k.a. me. Um, guys, I want to say thanks for joining us today. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, big up your whole self, as Brits would say. Cheers to you. I'm going to wash it down with a little carob because guess what? I missed out going to Trinidad, so I'm going to have my carob here, all right? Cheers to you guys. Take care.